Hello everyone, welcome back to the TG Omega channel for day 942 of our daily content grind. Today we have a news story that is a little bit too big to wait for the news roundup. Because not only is this just a really good look at a really, really amazing piece, but we've also got a bit of a strange update along with it that we will have to discuss towards the end. But for now, we are going to be discussing the announcement of not only MP60 Jinrai, but also MPG09 Super Jinrai. They are going all out. Two different versions, just like similar to how they did the recent, like the more the most recent Convoy, the MPO, the you know the the 3.0 Convoy, where yeah, there's a version with everything, but then there's just this smaller version in case you can't afford the gigantic thing. Which is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Though, I, I'm i hesitant to imagine who would want, you know, just Jinrai. I can imagine, like... Because cause, like, the whole thing is the combining, right? The whole thing is the trailer turns into the robot body. That's the whole thing. I know there's someone who's going to want just the Jinrai, but it, it's still a little bit baffling to me. Anyways... This is part of the whole uh, 40th anniversary thing that Takara is putting on. So this is a very major item, not only because this is, you know, a major character from one of their fictions, Master Force in this case, but it's also our Power Master Optimus Prime. You know, so it's a big deal for both sides of the of the uh, the Pacific Ocean here. So let's take a quick look at the individual Jinrai release, and it does look really, really nice. Uh, proportionally, looks like they've got the show spot on. Um, he does have quite a bit of a backpack on him, but, you know, that's kind of how this toy works. So, that's not too big of a concern in this situation. Uh, the detailing looks pretty nice on him. Uh, so, let me go ahead and uh, switch to this slide, where we're going to see side-by-side -side with the vintage version of the toy. Yes, it is accurate that the toy Acura Jinrai has red eyes. Even though in animation he has the traditional blue. It's kind of creepy to see Optimus Prime with red eyes, but that's how the original toy was. So, okay, fair play. Now, if you're using the modern reissue to compare it, you're going to find the reissue actually has animation accurate blue eyes, so it's not going to match. I had to track down a photo of the vintage version that wasn't torn up in order to show this off. But it looks like they've done a pretty good job of making the details as exact as they can here. So, like, the silver stickering that's on the thighs and the midsection has been replaced with actual silver parts and paint. Uh, looks like the smokestacks are also silver on this release, even though that's not technically accurate to the original toy. But, you know, forgiveness is, you know, it's not a huge deal. I like the replication of all the stickers. So, everything does look really, really nice on the figure. Paint is spot on it's a really cool release it's not gonna lie like if you're nostalgic more for the toy than the animation character okay maybe you wouldn't mind the jinrai version all by itself even if it doesn't have the trailer uh see we see other images here uh these guns still look absolutely ridiculous to me the handle is made for the super mode but they can be held by the just standard robot and it's his main weapon in the individual release i really wish this had like a flip out handle like if the big handle flipped into the back side of the gun and just a smaller handle made for the normal Jinrai size flipped in instead this looks weird and awkward it, it, it just does we can see the posability on this guy which looks pretty impressive here so not only like full range in the shoulders which is always great to see uh, you've got really good range in the ankle tilts that I can tell uh, yeah, you, you can do a superhero pose with him, you know, so the neck articulation also working really well on this release. He's got a, like a weird, like pelvic pivot. If you look at the image on the left, you can see his pelvis is kind of offset. So he's got some, he's got some interesting articulation there that I wasn't expecting. I'm kind of curious how that actually plays out. Um, you can also tell that the wheels all get out of the way and everything, so uh, nothing really restricts the articulation. That's a it's a good nod. It's a, it's a good call. Uh, let's see. Um, moving on, he does also come with blast effects in the individual release. They are far more cartoony than some of the ones I've seen previously. 
like the ones that come with Jetfire seem to be uh, far more like natural looking. They've actually got some more sculpting. They're narrower. Uh, this feels more you know, like this. This is a a little odd. This, this, these, are, these feel a little odd. They're far more cartoony. But I guess that makes sense. Uh, you know, uh, because the character itself is more known in uh, animation than anything in Japan. Uh, you can see the uh, you can see the ab crunch on this toy is working overtime for this pose. Like uh, if you pay, if you stare at it too long, it looks like he sliced in half. Little weird, just a little bit weird. So the re the press release and the images don't really show uh, don't really focus too much on the individual release, the toy accurate. They go straight in because of course they want to sell you on the big super version that has all the bells and whistles. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, they both do come, uh, as far as I know, yeah, they both come with uh, the, you know, what, what we know in America as high Q, uh, but what you would know in Japan as just Jinrai. You know, just plain old Jinrai. Uh, so we do, have, uh, we, do, we do have that in both, uh, let's see, there's the engine mode. Now, I will tell you, this is coming from the uh, the Gatai, the Super version. I believe the Toy Accurate one has a little bit more silver applied to the engine portion. Like, the actual, like, engine block looking part of it. And it does, and contrary to what I thought before, yes, it actually just does plug in like the original. The plate on the front is just far more flush and harder to notice. Uh, so, they do confirm that the original Power Master gimmick is still here. So you actually do have to plug the God Master in in order to unlock his transformation. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, because it's weird that there is a piece that locks a Transformer from doing exactly what it's supposed to do. But it is nice to see the original gimmick represented in uh, Masterpiece. Masterpiece rarely does that, where a toy is known for a gimmick. They rarely do any of those, like, gimmick characters or figures at AO you know, anyway like previous to this the only one we ever really saw was a suit was a star saber and the you know, the brain master gimmick this is our first of the like standard masters outside of like target masters which really don't affect engineering in any way but they do confirm yes you do need to plug the engine in in order to actually transform him and uh oh yeah uh yeah Hang on, hang on, it slides a little bit out of order here. Um, we, we, you know, we're, we're still not quite to the super version yet. Uh, well, you can see again, posability, really, really nice. Uh, deep punches. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe we're looking, like, I, I mixed them around so we could focus mostly on Jinrai here uh, to start off with and just see just how much the level of articulation is you know, that we got on this figure. Uh, we are we are looking at the super version now, uh, so you can see a few paint changes here and there. The eyes are blue now, uh, if you can catch that. A little bit easier to see there, but it's a little bit dark. Uh, you can see the absence of the what were sticker decos as well. So it's a little bit different, a little bit different. Uh, it's not terribly noticeable though. You know, um, at, least, at least when you're posing him like this. So we're doing animation accurate for the super version. Uh, and there's there's the full shot with the trailer. Uh, you can see it does kind of work the way the original trailer did in a weird way. You can see how much of the super mode is in the under kibble of the trailer. That's pretty much accurate to the original. Uh, you know, a lot of it just kind of hung down. And what you look at in the actual trailer is mostly just panels. It's mostly just panels that just kind of fold away to, to reveal the robot mode details. So no big surprise about how the toy is engineered, except there is. So here's the full trailer, uh, the you know the full vehicle mode, which looks brilliant. Um, again, we're looking at the you know uh, we're looking at the Gatai version, so you can see differences in the trailer or in the in like the uh, the semi truck mode itself. Uh, you have the the painted in headlights now, or I guess those are turn signal lights. Either way, you got a little bit more paint going on. Uh, you'll notice. Things are looking kind of flat around the front section of the trailer. That is because those big blue panels no longer have any involvement in the shoulder assembly. So the way the shoulders work now is that they're built right into the top of the chest. Like it's just, they're just like hard hinged into that position. So it doesn't need these big panels to swing out. 
So it's going to clean up the robot mode a lot, but it also indicates that there is some significant changes to how this toy works versus the original. Now, you could say it's obvious because it's masterpiece compared to G1, but it also is uh, an indication they didn't just recycle the original tr uh, transformation that like there is some new bells and whistles to this that are actually a little bit interesting that I, I kind of want to see in, in actual full motion. So, uh, without further ado, there is our Super Jinrai. Our first really nice look at this figure without any kind of text in the way. Uh, it's not potato quality. It looks really, really nice. It's a beautiful rendition of that design. Uh, proportionally, it is still a little bit odd, but from what I've seen, it's not terribly different from animation, so I'm not going to make any big deal out of it. It's technically accurate. Um, you know, and then, of course, you know, there's going to be a God Bomber. Like, I don't, there's no way they're not going to do a God Bomber at some point out of this. So, it doesn't surprise me. Like, so if the arms seem a little bit long, keep in mind, they're going to get bigger. <laughs> at some point, they're going to get bigger. We take a look. He also is rocking a pretty decent level of articulation. He doesn't look like it doesn't look like he's got the ab crunch, uh, but it's still a really nice range of poseability. He's he might have those shoulders I hate. That's that's where, what I'm seeing right now. Looks like he's got a bit of a butterfly to his shoulder, which would be cool. I am seeing where uh, the actual like shoulder hinges itself might be that type I hate. I need to look at some of the more other photos to see if they do it any differently. Um, but it is a really nice level of articulation. I don't know why they chose the screenshots they did. What is going on with Super Jin Rai in that bottom one? What what long long man meme are you doing with that Jin Rai? Can I replicate? Why did you pick that? Why, like, seriously, why did you pick that screenshot of all screenshots? Can I do that? Is the middle of this, of this Jinrai made of taffy? Can I just, like, pull him in the middle like that? You're not demonstrating it. It's weird. It's a weird choice. It's a weird choice. Of, I know I'm making fun of a... I'm making fun of an old anime screenshot, but it makes me laugh. Why that? Why that screenshot? Just because that's where he's doing the kneeling thing. It's silly. It's silly. So yeah, p positions like this tells me that yes, he does have those shoulders I hate. Which the shoulders I hate. I just reviewed Sunstreaker from these from the Studio Series concept line, uh, and it's the shoulders that have a a hinge. To get this outward motion and then a swivel to get the forward motion so you're not getting full universal range like you're sh like you should be um it still gives you a nice level of articulation but it just feels awkward and it's and some positions it doesn't like so th that's kind of unfortunate to see at masterpiece level that's a little unfortunate to see at masterpiece level uh in this shot uh, well, number one, the handles of the guns actually make sense now. Thank you very much. That's actually the correct. That actually looks correct. Uh, but you can also see, um, yeah, uh, blue-eyed, unlike the original uh, release that most of us are familiar with. Um, let's see what uh, what else what else pick out. I'm actually curious how the head works here, because on the original you had to pull the head off and just tuck it away. It's just a spare part. I can't imagine that's true. Masterpiece had to have found somewhere for that head to go. Um, like, Jinrai's got all that engineering crammed into his cab section for the actual Godmaster gimmick. I'm not sure where the head fits inside. I'd be happy to be wrong about that. I'd be happy to be wrong, and I'm sure if someone can figure out where that head goes, it's Tagara. Um, could potentially be part of the, the... Could potentially be part of the trailer, too, now that I think of it. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that. Curious about that. It also comes with these energy parts. This is something that they did a lot. Um, <laughs> um, so this was just kind of a thing in Master Force where you could tell, like, this was, this was a series that came after... Uh, this is a series that came after Dragon Ball started airing, so now energy attacks were a thing. Uh, uh, this is Chokan energy. And if you watch Master Force, there's a lot of moments where they just start, you know, they start just charging up with these like rainbow lightning bolts, or just literally just like energy blasting them from their hands. 
it's it's a little Dragon Ball. It's a little Dragon Ball. It's cool that they included it though. It's not quite right. Um, because the, the other ones kind of look like electrical circuitry, kind of like very straight. This is more like that tree branch lightning kind of look, but you, okay, you know, fine, you know, fine. Still looks cool. I'm, I'm glad they included it because it is kind of a staple of Master Force. So that's not too bad. There's what it looks like. So yeah, it looks like, it should look like he's just kind of pulling some rainbow strings. So it's not quite the same. Uh, but you know, this is, this is just a charge up. It's not an energy blast, which is what they're going for. I also want to point this shot out because this is actually when combined with the MP60 version. So deco-wise, there's a few small changes to how the overall robot looks. There is an alternate head for the red eyes, so you can do that if you have both versions. You want to mix them around. But point out the parts of like the blue on the torso on the outside of the actual cab, the yellow in the pelvis instead of the red and blue detail, the yellow, the yellow now on the knees, the new tech details on the legs, you're getting stickers that are going to adapt that trailer into a toy accurate version if you actually want that. That is an expensive prospect to get both versions just so you can have a toy accurate version of Super Jinrai, but you know there's going to be people who do it. And if you want toy accurate, yeah, um, the toy itself can do that just fine. Um, the trailer, like the, the cab itself, doesn't have too many differences to set it apart. Everything else can be done in the stickers. You've got the alternate head. You also, if you notice, have alternate hands, whereas Super Jinrai from the anime has mostly red hands. They're solid blue here, which is toy accurate. So it's nice of them to include the option. If you really want to have a completely toy accurate version and relive your Power Master Optimus Prime days, that's doable. And just to round off, off what it can do, there is the base mode. And the base mode is actually pretty faithfully recreated. Looks really, really nice. Double barrel guns in the nice, you know, in their spots. Uh, the, you know, the, the front ramp looks a little bit more solid than the original one did. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I always like the base mode in this one. All right, and there's your breakdown. So with your MP60, you're getting a very basic breakdown. You're getting you know, you're getting Godmaster Jinrai, Jinrai's base toy, the two cannons and the two blast effects for what, as of this video, is $159. So that's not terribly far from what Masterpiece charges for a toy of that size. So that's not terribly shocking. And then you have the MPG-09 version, which also comes with the extra head, the extra hands, uh, a few extra components there in the middle between the cab and trailer. I'm not entirely sure what those are. They're much smaller, especially those little red details. I have no clue. No clue. Um, it's also, let's see, it's actually showing four cannons as well. That's absurd. That's absurd, but you've got four cannons as well, two double barrel cannons, the, the lightning, the blast effects, two versions you also have a mini version of Jin, of jinrai as well so i guess that's to scale if, if you know which make a nice little thing for base mode i guess it's a lot it's a lot and so is the price at just about three hundred dollars as of right now uh yeah yen to u.s conversion is a mess uh keep in mind uh, when they charge you for this, it's going to be based on what the conversion rate is when this gets released in December. Who knows what the final price is actually going to be. So if you've got a U.S. distributor that's actually uh, taking pre-orders for it, I would suggest if you are in the U.S. ordering that way, just so you know exactly what the price you're going to pay is. And just use this as a benchmark for exactly what that price should be at the time. Now comes the weird part. Now comes the weird part. We've already, like This is the point where I should be stopping the video because we're about 20 minutes now. But there is a very important part that comes to this and it's in this little text blurb that comes with uh, the, the uh, promo images. Jinrai is actually the 100th masterpiece release if you include all the special versions. So, kind of a special memorial, you know, like, because, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of appropriate that if the, if the first masterpiece is... Optimus Prime that the 100th is technically also Optimus Prime if you're on the if you're uh, on a you know a certain area of the world <laughs> but this blurb in green is the is the concerning part 
So the translation, the Masterpiece series will end with this work, with the release of the 100th model, and from now on, the top Transformers brand will be unified to the next generation top brand, Transformers MPG. Which means, basically, Masterpiece is done. And Masterpiece G is now going to be the replacement. Now keep in mind, the G, we kind of said, stood for Gatai, but to Takara, the G also stands for Giant and Great. So it's a multi, multi-faceted abbreviation. Uh, we point out that Japan really doesn't care what the abbreviations on some of these things means, as long as it just sounds cool. Uh, keep in mind, this is you know this is where like the most popular action, one of the most popular action figure lines out there is SH Figure Arts, and they forgot a long time ago what the SH stands for. So Chaku Henshin, by the way, it was a Common Rider spin-off figure line, and now it does Dragon Ball. So that's just how the toy line evolves. So they're kind of doing the same thing with Masterpiece. And to be fair, Masterpiece has been doing the same thing for a hundred releases now. Uh, so if they decide that this is the appropriate time to refresh things or rebrand things to kind of like pick the line up a little bit. And given the fact that they do have like an unfortunate line of re track record of recent releases kind of being disappointing or low quality, etc., Maybe that is the mindset behind like switching it up. Though I can, though frankly, I know a lot of people who weren't happy with the MPG toys that are released already. Uh, I know a lot of people who weren't happy with the overall ride and experience once they bought that sixth train bot. I've seen many broken train bots, you know, like I'm so maybe, maybe the reception was better in Japan, so they just decided let's just keep this going with MPG. It feels weird. It feels completely unnecessary. Um, though, like, when you think about it, there's a lot of characters they haven't done where Gatai combination of some kind is relevant. Any combiner from G1, for instance, technically Headmasters would count in that as well, uh, as well as other Godmasters. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of places, there's a lot of places to go. It does leave you wondering, like, so, like, if they ever do get around to like jazz or blaster or reflector, like some of the older characters that haven't gotten into masterpiece, are they just, they're just MPG now, which is weird. This is very weird. Um, I don't, I think it's an, I think it's kind of a pointless change, but who knows? Maybe it's time for a refresh. Um, that's just me guessing. I have no idea what Takara's on about with this one, but MP continues. It's just called something else now. So, got you know, Jinrai here, the last of the breed, the last of the line, and Super Jinrai kicking us off in a new direction for the MPG line. And I suppose that's an appropriate thing for the 40th anniversary of the brand. So, that's our latest masterpiece release. It's gigantic. There's a ton of stuff to talk about. It seems like they hit just about everything they possibly could with this. So, let me know in the comments below if you're curious about this, if you are one of those who just wants the Jinrai, uh, if you're going to go broke and go all out for the Super Jinrai. Um, don't know if I'll be there with you, because that's an expensive toy. But I'm curious to see how this develops, because I'm sure we'll see more. I'm sure, I'm sure more is going to come out as we get closer to December. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.